everyone welcome back to my channel if it's your first time on this channel you are welcome i am am aim coaching and today's video is basically me bringing you guys um news about my upcoming book which is called mothers like me now if you have been watching my channel recently you know in that segment of my channel where we talk about real life issues i have been addressing some of the issues within the um videos okay now mothers like me was in well basically i uh, was inspired from um, the experiences that I experienced and I also witnessed other mothers like myself experience so from how mothers are treated within the mental institution how mothers are treated within foster care during their foster care placement how mothers are treated during residential unit how the UK the in the court um, the court the just the judicial system the family judicial system within the uk and within america treats mothers okay um like myself um like myself and also our children that what happens to our children and why those things happen to us and our children and in the book i also talk about how um mothers you know face what they have to deal with and i talk about the issue of forced adoption yes the issue of forced adoption whether you know it or not um many mothers within the uk and also in america um go through a through situation where their children are forcefully placed for adoption within um by the local authorities they are placed up for adoption using the foster care system and also using their agency the adoption agency and i go through the process of finding out as to why as to why and the people the mothers that they target are often single mothers okay they often um target single mothers or young mothers okay they basically yeah they target unmarried mothers and young mothers those are the targets that the local authorities often target in order to place these children these babies up for adoption now my own son was being placed for adoption that they were filling out the procedures why somebody called the police i remember i was um i was sharing the gospel because i'm a christian um i had my son with me and i was sharing the gospel in town and i got a, somebody called a member of the public called the police and um i was detained now my son was put in foster care but even before then i had a midwife just call the local authorities and say you know what she i'm concerned she hasn't attended the appointment now they didn't tell me that that was the issue okay they started doing investigations and then later on i found out that it was basically because i missed an appointment which was actually a non-statutory pregnancy antenatal appointment okay because within the uk there's certain um appointments that you can decline for example if your child if they um the what's it called the diabetes test you can decline it um the disability test the street like over you can decline it so i declined those two and that is the reason why they called now if i was an adamant to find out the research and so on and so forth they would have just taken my son fresh from the labor room why do i say fresh from the labor room because i was actually when i was actually in labor okay the day i was in labor with my son this was 4th august 2017 okay when i was in labor with my son guess what the social worker called the came into the hospital where i was giving birth spoke to the woman uh, spoke to the midwife who was in the labor room helping me to give birth to my son yes my son that you see there 
and they said if she, um, she asked if she could come into the labor room that is when I lost it <laughs> Ladies, that is when I lost it. At the peak of labour, you have a social worker who I don't really care for already coming and saying, could they enter the labour room? I told them to tell her to do one, basically. Okay. Um, and um, what's it called? That is before I actually knew that that is what happened. They go in to labour room some women in labor room just given birth they take their children and they put their children they give it to the foster carers and then the foster carers will look after that baby or those babies until they find adoptive parents through the adoption agency now they get paid okay they don't want to admit it but that is that's what it is okay so because it's all about money it's all about money so i look into the issue of forced adoption i look into the issues as to why um the judicial system had as to why many parents face injustice through the judicial system like why does the judicial system allow the local authorities to do that to get away with that oftentimes why do parents keep losing their children it's not just mothers but oftentimes is mothers who go through these procedures okay because um because they're the ones who are like viewed as the main carers in the uk and in the us they are deemed first carers okay of their children main carers of their children so they normally go through this process of parental assessment res in the residential unit foster care so on and so forth and then within the mental institution is to do with postnatal depression and all other kinds of mental health issues even after years of ha um having given birth and being a parent and all of that so on and so forth okay and not just the perinatal wards but even within the no normal um acute wards as well because after like after one after your baby has like reached the age of one you go into the main ward okay so i look into all of that subject within the um within the context context of motherhood and i don't just look at the issue but by the grace of god god gave me wisdom keys to actually share with families in order for them to overcome so that they don't lose their children to the system okay you don't have to lose if you're a parent and you're going through this issue with court through this issue with social workers local authorities okay you don't have to lose your child to the local authorities you don't have to break up your relationship because sometimes because you you know you may wonder as to why why are there so many single mothers in the uk why are there so many single mothers in the us it's because for this very reason some of them are forcefully broken up their relationship are broken up by the local authorities for the sake of them removing their child from their care okay for example with my son my son's dad we're all good okay we're on good terms everything on good terms and whatnot so on and so forth guess what as soon as the local authorities got involved they started doing investigation after investigation and trying to break us up and trying to bring us to a misunderstanding and trying to bring up trying to divide us basically so that they could have the upper hand because if he's not involved in the child's life guess what they would um think they think that they have an upper hand where they can take me out of the picture and basically have my son and i was like no you're not gonna have that so i share all of the, those experiences in the book what i did what god um instructed me to do in order to overcome the system because you don't have to be a victim you are not a victim of the system and you don't have to continuously be a victim of the system because the thing is 
once your child is taken and put up for adoption or put in the foster care system guess what every time you give birth your child is taken away from you and that is why some mothers end up even aborting their children that is why their abortion rate that contributes to, to the abortion rate in the uk okay and also um every time you remain on the mental health list guess what your child as soon as you give birth they come and they try to take your child away from you if you have been deemed a criminal or your partner has been deemed your husband has been deemed a, a criminal guess what every time you give birth they say that you know he's a he's a danger or she's a danger you know he's a danger or you're a danger to your own child okay and that is their way of coming in to try and take your child and put them up for adoption if you've just given birth that is why when you're going through your parenting assessment they'll ask you the questions of oh um what's it called are you going to have more children okay that is one of the reasons why they ask you questions like that okay they'll ask you questions about your finances because they try to see if you are capable of financially looking after your child i go into deeper details as to what you should avoid okay i'm trying to not give too much details because the last time they watched my video um they took my videos down like they bought um <laughs> they burnt my videos and placed it before court basically for my videos to be removed off youtube because they want to censor families they want to censor families it's not just mothers but also fathers and extended families they want to censor them so that it, other parents don't hear about it that's why when you hear of social workers a lot of people get scared of social workers or a lot of people hate social workers but i'll put out a disclaimer that not all social workers are bad not all social workers are wicked they are some that god has strategically placed in those places for you and i okay to bring forth deliverance to shed light into these areas okay these perverse areas these corrupted areas so that children and young people don't continually be victims of the system because the very system that takes your child and says you are an unfit parent labels you as an unfit parent don't care for your child it's a money issue okay some of these children end up being abused sexually abused neglected within the foster care system okay some of these children end up just being neglected as in they go they don't care the foster carers don't even care and the police neither does the police care what their whereabouts sometimes they don't even sleep where they're supposed to sleep okay and they don't know the police will say just leave them they'll come back in their own time so your child is out there neglected and you you think that your child is being taken care of no not all not all of them not all it's not all rosy as they make it out to be as a young person if they tell you that foster care is good it's not good okay it is not good they don't love you they don't care for you yes they'll come and tell you about shoes and clothes and all of these things but they're not looking out for your best interest they are not looking out for your best interest parents that's another thing that they lure children and these young people into they use material goods okay that is why as a parent it's so important that you don't let your children fall into trends into trends designer this designer that designer this designer that because they they put that is what they they put before these children and these young people and if you cannot afford it or you tell them that you're not going to do it uh, buy it for them and so on and so forth guess what the system says we can afford it because the government is the one who funds these social workers okay to be able to buy your children clothes every week every week whatever they want whatever food they want whatever drink they want every week whatever clothes they want okay books presents 
birthday present, Christmas present, Easter present, okay? They'll bring it. If you can't afford it, they'll say we can do it because the government funds them, okay? And that is what lures most of these children into the system. So, that is what I share in the book and it's coming out very soon. It's going to be on all my platforms. It's going to be on my website, um, my online store, www.ampochen.com and also on my Etsy, my eBay and on my Amazon as well. And you'll also be able to personally send me a DM on my Twitter, Facebook or Instagram for a copy of the book when it comes out. Um, of course, at a price. And yeah, guys, but as a parent, like if you're going through this process, I just pray that God will give you strength. I just pray that God will give you wisdom to know how to go through this process without losing your child or your children. I pray that you will not be afraid of the system. I pray that you will not be a victim of the system and that your children will not be claimed by the system. In Jesus name, amen. Guys, I shall see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.